Well, thank you so much for being here. I'm Congresswoman Young Kim, as was introduced. I don't know if I can turn this around. Yeah. I represent 40th Congressional District in Southern California, which represents three counties. Much of it is in Orange County, but I also represent San Bernardino County as well as Riverside. I'm honored to be with you all today, and uh, this year's uh, House of Code to celebrate the App Challenge winners. And I'm really delighted to uh, recognize my 2021 App Challenge winner, and she's here, sitting here in front. Uh, her name is Miss Dia. Sridhar. She goes to Troy High School in Fullerton, and this is where also my four kids went. So I'm very, very proud that we have a winner from that school. So thank you so much. Um, Dia was able to work on an uh, app called the Aura. Uh, she has a relative who is uh, struggling with a very rare disease, uh, but uh, you know, if she was uh, watching her and thought that if there was a way to detect this type of uh, you know, cancer or any type of uh, disease, then we may have been able to work on a preventive measure early on. And so this was what encouraged her and inspired her to create the uh, app called the Aura, and I was really, really thankful that she's our winner and she's joining us tonight, I mean today with her mom. And where's proud mom here? She's somewhere taking pictures, videos, right there. Thank you for joining us. As you may know, Congressional App Challenge was created to engage more students in STEM and coding and encourage them to pursue careers in these very important fields. Today, STEM touches and plays a meaningful role in every part of our lives. Now more than ever, we need a robust STEM workforce to develop next generation wildfire detection technologies, carbon capture technologies, and clean our energy solutions to power our future as well as strengthen our economy and protect our national security. That is you. Every one of you students sitting here with your proud parents and teachers, thank you for what you do and your interest in STEM field. Last year, when I served as a co-chair of the Congressional App Challenge, we saw the biggest challenge yet. We had over 9,000 students creating over 2,700 apps across all 50 states. Puerto Rico, Guam, the uh, Mariana Islands, the U.S. Virgin Islands, and Washington, D.C. My district also hosted the largest challenge in history for a congressional district with a record-breaking number of 192 student submissions. Supporting STEM educational opportunities is a top priority of mine in Congress. And I'm proud to co-chair the Women in STEM Caucus and have also led the bipartisan innovations in Informer STEM Learning Act, which became law through the CHIPS and Science Act to support after-school programs that help students learn STEM concepts. This legislation supports and provides grants to nonprofit organizations who provide after-school programs such as robotics competition, science olympiad, and what you name it. Anything that they do to encourage our young students to take interest in STEM field, my legislation will help support that. So I want to thank students, parents, and teachers who are here today to support our future STEM leaders. The apps that you all created not only fully are functioning apps, but also also make a significant difference in people's lives. And I know the future is bright with students like you, each uh, leading the way. So I want to wish every one of you best of luck for your future in divorce and enjoy the rest of your time here in our nation's capital. And as you consider deciding what schools to go for your higher education, there are many schools in California like Caltech. If you go to one of those schools, please ask your member and any members that have helped you during this Congressional App Challenge for letters of recommendation because we need more, especially women and girls in STEM field. But man, we love you. Stay where you are, but we will encourage more students 
women and girls in STEM field. So thank you so much. I'm biased because I'm a woman too, right? But thank you. You are the future. And I'm very, very delighted to be here with you. Thanks.